Hi guys, I'm Shmi. We're in Santa Gata Bolognese, the home of Lamborghini. We're here today because we're taking a look at this car behind me here, an Aventador Roadster. Now it's time to hop on in and take this car for a drive. Sitting in the passenger seat then, taking a moment to reflect on this car and what an incredible, incredible machine it is. Anybody who said that the thing lacked any drama is completely wrong because when you've got the roof off, the sort of noise absolutely engulfs around you. I just listen to it on the roads. Two very quick things to show you with the Aventador Roadster that you might not otherwise have thought about. Behind me there is a rear window, very little one, but you can lower it even with the roof in place and you get a little bit more of that noise in the engine bay. Pretty good. Another little thing, there is a valve control system that in Strada mode is obviously keeping the car a little bit quieter, but if we pop it in sport, you can immediately hear the valves opening up, which is also pretty awesome. Just keep it in that mode, really.
back at the factory after an absolutely brilliant day with the Aventador Roadster LP700-4. My thoughts on it then, well you've got the three driving modes, Strada, Sport and Corsa. Sport by far is my favourite, you get all of the sound, whereas Corsa the steering gets heavy and it's really quite violent. Strada a bit too soft on the other hand, so Sport is where it's at. Pretty impressed though if you are just cruising, the car is comfortable, relaxed, happy on the motorway. But then when you're really going for it, this thing is an absolute weapon. It's incredible. Roadster, of course, gives it that drama that you perhaps missed otherwise. Top off, it looks absolutely stunning. And of course, you just pop the Roadster roof away in the bonnet. The only problem with that, though, is that there is not very much luggage, trip, luggage space. If you're doing a long trip, let's say, around Europe or something, there's not much room there to put everything, but what a load of fun very very fond of the car you never know what the future holds but this has been an awful lot of fun make sure you check out all of the videos and of course subscribe to shamin 150 for everything else and lots more supercar videos to come i'll catch up with you again soon cheers let's have a quick go and see how easy it is to take the roof off the car and put it in the front before we can drive away <laughs>